Hi Liam, my name is Andrea Hi. from Notino, one of the biggest online beauty retailers in Europe. Thank you for taking the time for us. No, oh, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. It's nice to speak to you. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. On behalf of all of us from Notino and Hugo, we are very, very excited to talk about the new fragrance and about what's going on in your life. Great. Yeah, so uh, you became the face of Hugo in 2019 and now you represent the brand in fragrances as well. So tell us, what's the best part of cooperating with Hugo? Um, I think Hugo and, and myself really, um, it's been sort of the perfect marriage and the perfect fit. Uh, uh, you know, the, the sense of style is the same sense of style I have, um, you know, during making the... the um, uh, the clothes together. It's been a lot of fun to do so. Everyone's been very easy to work with and they take my ideas on board, which I really enjoy. Um, and yeah, it's just like I say, it's just been the perfect fit. Yeah, because uh, Hugo represents a risk taking and bold masculinity. And from what I see, that's the perfect fit. I couldn't imagine anyone better. Tell me, uh, what kind of risks do you like to take? Ooh, what kind of risks do I like to take? Um, do you know what? I think I was more risky when I was younger. I remember there was a place in, uh, in New Zealand where you would like bungee jump off the side of a building um, that I did when I was younger. Um, but I like, I suppose, uh, exhilarating risks, let's say. So risks in moderation. Yes, exactly. But I think oh, okay. since I had my son, I, I don't know, I don't take as many risks as I used to. Oh, and when was the last time you took some risk? Oof, when was the last time I took a risk? Um, in moderation. In moderation. Um, that's a really good question. I mean, I suppose, yeah, I, I've done a couple of jumps off of buildings that were, were quite fun. And there was one that I did in Vegas. Um, and it was really beautiful being able to see the whole, you know, uh, Vegas skyline and everything in the distance while you're, you're coming back down to earth. Um, yeah. That sounds amazing. I love Vegas. Now, tell me, I have this bad boy right over here and I must say this smells so amazing it's fresh yet very powerful tell me what's your favorite aspect of the fragrance yeah I think it's just such a fresh and, and clean fragrance um, you know I like the fact that, that you know there's certain fragrances you can't wear all the time but with this one you, you definitely can um, and it's uh, yeah it's subtle in that way yeah, I so agree. It's, it's universal and amazing, yet very original fragrance. Now tell me, are you the type of person who likes to wear just one perfume or do you like to change it up? Um, I like to change it up. I used, I used to have a lot more fragrances, actually, and I used to kind of like mixing and matching uh, fragrances. But I, I, I don't know, I think it's quite nice also to have like one fragrance that identifies as you, if that makes sense. Which is this one of for course. you? Of course. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't expect any other way. Now tell me, you showed a campaign in Berlin, a city that perfectly embodies a free, spirited attitude and vibe of Hugo. Is there a place that makes you feel empowered and inspired by? Um, I think for me, probably now, uh, London. And it's funny because when I first moved here, it was quite scary. It's a very big city. I was only young. I think I was 17 when I, when I first got here. And I, I kind of had to grow to love it. But the nightlife here is amazing. Uh, the foods here is, is really, really great. And yeah, I, I, I feel like I, I know my way around London now without a map, which is quite nice when you can feel that at home somewhere. Mm -hmm. So you feel at home there? Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, tell me, a uh, key message of Hugo is living in the moment. I'm interested if you live by this rule or do you prefer your days to be planned? Uh, no, I think I embody the idea of living in the moment because I never usually know what the hell is going on until just before it happens. Um, but I think for me this year, more so than ever, I, I, I've been running quite a bit and I've been kind of running out to, to the Thames and, and where the London Eye is and, and I kind of just take a moment there every day to, to be a little bit, you know, grateful and show some gratitude for, for, for you know, what's happening in my life. And, and I think it's important to do things like that and take those moments. Yeah. You spoke about gratitude. So what uh, are you the most grateful for in your life? Um, my son at the moment. I love my son. He, you know, it's been difficult this year. I haven't been able to see him as much. Um, he's just got the hang of FaceTime, which is very, very useful. 
um, and he's a right little chatterbox. So yeah, he definitely brings a lot of um, a lot of light to my day. Yeah, children are blessings. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, um, as an artist, do you think it's important to break certain rules? Um, I think so. I mean, I think you know the biggest artists in the world are the are the ones who kind of make their own rules in a sense. Um, you know, it's, it can be risky at times, sometimes it can go wrong, but I think otherwise you just end up a little bit vanilla, um, is what I would say. And it's, um, you know, it's, it's, it's hard. You see so many successful artists and see what they're doing. You have to be careful to be individual and make sure that you're not copying people along the way. Um, but obviously taking elements from different people as well and different people that you look up to. Mm -hmm. And uh, you were talking about... Uh what it means to you being an artist. Tell me, you started uh, your amazing career with One Direction. How do you compare this experience with uh, being a solo artist right now? Um, it's been fun. I'd say it's a lot more stressful because everything kind of rides on your name, not just the name of you and some, some people. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a completely different experience. But, you know, I love each and every one of those memories of, of being in the band, but I'm, I'm really enjoying this so far. And and I, I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit more freedom in what I do. Um, so I'm looking forward to the next few years. Now, tell me, as an, um, you spend a lot of your time talking to your fans on Instagram. Uh, what's your relationship to social media in general? Um, to be honest with you, social media, I've always had a bit of a love-hate relationship with it up until probably this year. And I think, uh, I've said it before, but I, I think it's funny how you know, we were all so worried about technolo technology and actually connecting with each other personally. And uh, this year we needed technology, you know, more than we ever have. Um, and it's been great to, you know, reconnect with people, catch up a lot more. Me and the boys have spoken a lot more than we ever have. Um, but yeah, I, I, I've grown to, to love it, especially uh, things like TikTok. I think you have a lot more freedom on TikTok to have fun and kind of let your personality out. Uh, you know, everything's not so polished on there and it's a bit more enjoyable that way, I, I feel. Yeah. Is TikTok a place where you found down Dixie? Yes, it is. Yes. Um, and it's been great to collaborate with, with her on this. You know, I, I wish her a lot of luck for um, the rest of her career. She just had a new song out with Wiz Khalifa, I think, as well. Um, but it's great. Yeah, I mean, I love your song, Naughty List. It's amazing, especially right now. I just love it, I must say. Thank you. <laughs> and tell us, uh, do you have any motto you live by? Maybe it's the same as the fragrance in live, live for Today. Live for Today. I'll take that. That's a great one. As you never know what comes next. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, um, do you have any tips for any aspiring artists or musicians out there who are waiting for their breakthrough? Do you have something for them? Um, I think just, just stick at it. And, you know, I think the, the quicker that you find yourself, uh, the, the easier it all becomes. And I mean, even for me, you know, having the career that I've had and it's always kind of been at a certain level, it's still difficult every day to find yourself and what you're trying to say to people, I think is what I would say. That's a great one. They have to just wait for their moment to come and endure. Yeah, exactly. Great. Uh, Liam, it was such a pleasure to be talking to you. This is from my part. Thank you so much. It was great. Uh, good luck with the commercial and the fragrance. As I said, it's amazing and you're the perfect embodiment of it. Ah, thank you. I appreciate that. It was very lovely to speak to you. It was great to speak to you too. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.